So welcome to the guys on YouTube. First thing, the last plus battle here, Barge Temple. Um, go for the Sentinels, I guess. Doesn't really matter too much. We have to reduce his attack and reduce his magic, so we have full break for that anyway. Shouldn't be too hard. Got Shelga for some magic mitigation. Attacks are attack, dispel, gravity, pain, and oblivion. Pain doing. Maybe special done elemental damage to one target, and Oblivion dealing moderate special range physical damage. Okay. To all targets. I was thinking, I remember last time versing Anima, and we weren't supposed to let him use Oblivion, and if we did, we lost medals. Oh shit, I'm doing the wrong one. What the fuck am I doing? Get out of here. Power chain. Okay, so we actually get power chain for this. Oh yeah, I was gonna try. Nah, never mind. I was gonna try full, full charge, but I'll do that later. Yeah, let's go for it. Ugh. <laughs> She's a really good singer. Way better than me. I can do a pretty deep voice though. La la la! Okay, I won't do that anymore. I know someone from my high school would become an opera singer actually. It's actually doing a really good job. Alright, let's go for it. So he has 179,500 HP. I think it won't be too bad with Sentinel's Grimra and all the debuffs that we have. Oh, not the debuffs, the mitigation and stuff that we have. And the breakdowns. Oh yeah, I did see our uh, Relic Troll. What was it like? Bro, score! Gravity. Oh, I actually missed two targets. I guess I'll start with Steel Power. Doesn't matter too much. No, actually I shouldn't have done that. I should have started with Typhoon Null because that'll overwrite the skill power. Kinda sad. Oh well. My bad. <laughs> okay, gravity again. Kinda a little bit troublesome. I guess um Yuna's Soul Break will help out quite a bit. We'll use him in the faith instead of trigger happy. Trigger the faith in situations is a lot better than trigger happy, unfortunately. But hey, it depends if you want to use her as a summoner or not. Okay, I'll use happen all. Oh, Can we use gravity on you once? Gosh, I really have bad luck then. Gravity is pretty annoying. Spell? Wow. Okay, got hype and all. Give me some buffs. I don't think haste is really needed in this fight. Just gonna attack normally. Got another with another life siphon. What the fuck? That doesn't look good. That looks very bad. I don't know, I can't tell. If she is a woman, then obviously she's hiding her breasts with her arms. I don't know, would you go out with her? It's, it's alright. Might like the big chicks. The big mummy looking chicks. With fangs. Does she have fangs? I don't know, I can't really tell. Okay, we got Slice and Dice, so we'll use that. I'll use Shell Grow again just to refresh the shell on Yuna's. Enema is Seymour's mum. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> kinda sucks, cause like, the lower half of her body's kinda gone, isn't it? That's probably the most important bit. Kinda sad. 
<laughs> oh my fucking god, this spell again. I'm getting there slowly though, but I'm doing pretty well. Man, I love you, Walker. Anima is seeing more smart than Vice Temple. Are you serious? She. No! Really? No! I was going to say, Seymour's mother is found at Vaj Temple as a faith it of the Aeon Anima. She reveals that a past life, I don't know. That's gross, man! So weird if it is. It is unknown, though, if Seymour is addressing Anima as a former Aeon or as his mother. Ow, that was a lot of damage. Here concentrate. I'm doing okay. I'm not fucked yet. I'm just a little bit distressed. Gravity again? Ew, gross. That's so sad, man. So sad. I'm killing Seymour's mother, and then I'm gonna kill Seymour. I'm gonna use him as a face again, I think. Address Animo's bitch out of the way. That's so weird, man. Someone says the faith of Anima is not Seymour's mother. What did he say? What did he say? This theory is a bit of a stretch, but I think it's some it's just something to think about. As we know, Seymour was the maester of Makalania Temple. Shiva is the Aeon residing within that temple. What you can particularly observe about Shiva is Shiva is blue, Seymour likes blue. <laughs> More human than anyone else. Facial scars just like Seymour is a woman. Depicts ice metaphorical to Seymour's cold world view. Has cloth that resembles the Guado far plane. Has sharp nails similar to Guado but human like hands. Okay. I don't know. People have different theories. Kind of weird, right? Shiva definitely looks sexier than Anima, that's for sure. I'll go for Shiva instead. Pain. Oh shit, I used this form. By accident. Oh well, it's okay. Thief's Revenge is, is so fucking good. This damage is crazy. That was this damage. You know, most men supposedly seek women that are close to, in personality to their mothers. You know, must be a bitch if that's true. <laughs> you never know. I don't know. You know, would do anything to accomplish her goals, like massage LeBlanc. That's such a fucking sexy scene, man. Best scene ever in Final Fantasy X. -2. Again? Are you fucking kidding me with the Oblivion? You didn't kill me, right? Yeah. Fuck off with that shit. Get out of here. You didn't play 10 2? What? Best game ever, man. You should play it just for that scene alone. Got a three star orb. Fuck. Hey, listen to this. 
Actually, I don't think it can be right because there is evidence in game that directly supports Seamless Mother as Anima. So after doing some research on the topic, however, it is fascinating to consider that Anima was actually Titus's mother because of how trapped and dreadful she must have felt very alone. It's not like Seymour had never been to Zanakin before. He even has a sphere replicating Titus's Zanakin. When we all know the real Zanakin that existed may have looked a lot different than the dream Zanakin. Interesting. <laughs> what can I do for you? I can't take you. I don't know, eh? I don't know what I should do now. Firstly, thanks for you guys on YouTube. I'll see you guys next time.